Hello YouTube, it's Rico Jade, your finance makeup artist. So, um, I'm doing a tag here on YouTube from the Norma Burke. She did a tag of four or more. She actually started it. She tagged me and my mom's channel, but I decided to do it on my channel because I have enough products to do like different products four or more. So let's just get it started with. All right. I'm like this is just all like lip products. Um, I have like other four or more products, but I'm just gonna do that um, tag with my mom on me and her channel. And I'll link uh, Norma's channel below, and I'll link my mom and me channel, the daughter channel. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Color Whispers. I have four, just four, and I do maybe want more, but I'm trying to finish whatever I have at least so yeah <clears throat> oh, I just I love these actually like they're like um they're just like a L'Oreal color riche balm and a Revlon lip butter but these are more like smoother and they're just have a gel they said it's a gel consistency and whatnot and they're just so like I don't know like they're just like sheer and jelly not jelly but yeah so that is the color petal rebel I don't know if you can see it it does kind of go on a bit sheer but it is buildable and it kind of leaves like a little bit of a stain not so much um, you can reapply them if you'd like throughout the night like I remember like I was on New Year's Eve like I was just reapplying reapplying like throughout the night and it was pretty good so that is Petal Rebel I have like most of the nude-ish colors and I want to try like a plum prospect because I love my Revlon um lip butter in sugar plum because that is a great like plum color that'll just go with my skin tone and I want to see if they're both comparable but anyways no, for the rambling. This is Mocha Muse. And it looks like this. It looks orange, but it's really not so orange, I guess you could say. Like, it kind of has... It's like a brown pink, I guess. So that is Mocha Muse. <clears throat> like a brown... Like a brown pink. This one is Lust for Blush. Everybody like loves this one. And they have a new they have a new one with their summer collection, so I should have just bought that one when I bought it for my mom. This is kind of like a baby rose pink. At least that's what I think it looks like. So that is Lust for Blush. This is more on the pink side, and this one's like on a sheer petal side, like a sheer, I don't know. It's a sheer, it's the sheerest one, at least I think so, because you can see some color, but not so much color. And then this one is Made It Mauve. Come so dark, please. And then sister, can I make video? Sorry, my little sister just came in. So this is Made It Mauve. <clears throat> And this is the first one that I had purchased when they came out. Alright. Next four more I have are some MAC lipsticks. I'm pretty sure every beauty guru, YouTuber, like, has some MAC lipsticks in their collection. Me, I have four or more. I have, like, one, four, five, six. I have six. No, I have... I have five MAC lipsticks, but I'm just only going to take out these four. And I remember my first MAC lipstick, I'm pretty sure it was... I don't know if it was a lipstick. It was one. It was a lip gloss. I'm pretty sure it's like... Um, I don't know. It was a lip gloss or whatever, but I love MAC. Just This is... Um, I just love the way they feel and how they smell. So this is... Uh, a cream sheen brave red and then this one is info this is my recent one 
because when you do your back to max you can get a lipstick only when it's at like the counter and whatnot but if you go to a mac pro store you can get like a eyeshadow or a lip gloss so that is faux i was always like eyeing faux whenever i would just like look at a mac counter and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it so yeah this one is well you can't see the name but it's in blankety it's like my all-time like favorite nude as you can see like i'm almost out of it and there is a dupe for this one and it's the essence in the nude but i can never find it when i go to ulta so i'm just so disappointed so that was blankety <clears throat> And then this one is a Sheen Supreme Lipstick in Bear Again. They said it was limited edition, but I don't know if it is. So this is my second one because I already finished my first one. And like, I don't know if they'll, they'll ever have it again. But that is in Bear Again. And I absolutely like love it. It's like a My Lips But Butter color. So that is Bear Again. And I might just pick up one more. And then, also, I have five of the NYX Butter Glosses. Like, I ha have a video on it and all the swatches. If you want to see it, I'll link it down below. These are just super, super amazing. Like, I probably would get, like, maybe one or two more. And that would just, like, make me happy because, like, these are just so amazing. They're creamy, they're buttery, hence the name Butter Gloss. They smell amazing. They smell like candy and then you just want to eat them. So I'll just swatch this one. It is an apple strudel. Yeah, they smell awesome. And they are pretty pigmented and you can sh um, put it over a lipstick or lip gloss. So, yeah. And then this one was my first one in Tiramisu. I absolutely love it. This one is also like on my lips, but better color. <laughs> oh, they just smell like super amazing. So that one is Tiramisu. And if you want to see like a full review on these, I'll just uh, I'll link the video down below. Then last but not least, I have the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains. I have four of them, and I it's like a love-hate relationship with them because I love them, but then I hate them. I love them because they do stain your lips. Um, I kind of hate them because sometimes it can be a little drying, just a little bit. I don't know now because like I found a lip exfoliator, so maybe they might not be drying. But if you put a balm and just wait for the balm to set into your lips and put these over, they'll be okay. You could just put this and a gloss over and you're just out the door. So I have um, Honey. I purchased a second one and I don't know, like if you see it in my mini haul, you'll know why I have two of them. So yeah, I have... So I have two um, honeys of the Revlon Kissable Balm stain. So that's what it looks like. I absolutely love this color because it is a great, great pink. So that is honey right there. To me, I think it kind of not oxidizes, but kind of changes color. At least that's what I feel like, in my opinion. But it changes to a nice, subtle pink color. And then this one is in Sweetheart Valentine. Now, I don't know if this one's limited edition, because I had picked this up at Rite Aid one time. And then I was looking at, like, the, origi the original collection, and I was like, maybe this is limited edition, like, if it's, like, for Valentine's or something, because... Um, I didn't see it in like the original collection. So yeah, this one is Sweetheart Valentine. And it is like a great bright pink. That is Sweetheart Valentine. They smell minty. They have, they just have so many like lips, I mean stick bombs or whatever. Like Clinique has some. Uh, CoverGirl has some. Neutrogena has some. Uh, Tarte. These are supposedly the dupe for Tarte. There's just so many like stick uh, things out there. So yeah. Sorry, my little sister just went out of the room. And then this one is in Rendezvous. Like now, I guess they brought this color back 
because when I went to Target, I saw this color. And I was like, oh, maybe they brought it back just for the summertime. Because I know, like, before, like, I would never see the orange, this orange color. So that is Rendezvous. Now, I don't think I would ever wear that color. Maybe if I were just, like, to go out or somewhere, I don't know. Because I'm not really, like, an orange type of person. I'm not a type of person to wear an orange lip color. Maybe, like, I don't know. I just have to find a way to wear an orange lipstick. But... That is my four or more video and um, thanks for watching, please subscribe and I will link all the info in the description bar. So yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye!